Hey guys, it's me, CJ Productions, and you might be wondering, you can hear my voice now. I've, I've downloaded a recording system, so now you can hear my voice. Today we are going to be a tutorial on a Havilland Mosquito Bomber. It's very fast, it has a decent payload, and it has amazing agility. Well, we're, this is going to be multiple parts, because it's pretty big for its size. So let's begin. So first of all, we are going to be getting a wedge one by two up here. Right here. Now next we are be going we're gonna count the amount of blocks. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So you're gonna wanna do 20 blocks outwards. One, two, three. Okay. Next, we are going to be adding half wedges like that. So they kind of look like if they were, let's get it right, this. Now you're gonna wanna do that from, there's gonna be two blocks here on the wedge and then you wanna go all the way down. One, two, and then you're just gonna stretch all this down. Now, this is not the best plane I have built. It could be better in some ways, but I really like how it turned out. So I hope you like the tutorial as well. Let's keep doing it. In the next part, I will be doing the camo as well if you guys want the colors. So at the back, what you're gonna wanna do is, I know, so you're gonna gonna get a wedge one by three. You're gonna wanna put it on the block. Then on top of that, you're gonna wanna get a wedge. You're gonna get two wedge one by twos. You're gonna make it form the tail. Next, you're gonna wanna, we're gonna start on the front still. You're gonna wanna add a block right here and another wedge one by two. Also on the sides, you're gonna wanna put wedge one by twos. This will be forming the nose of the plane. Now you're gonna wanna go to wedge one by twos and get the triangle wedge one by two. This is gonna help form these. It's a little awkward up here on how the mosquito's cockpit is, but it actually turned out quite well. I have a friend of mine here. He's just gonna be doing some stuff. Next, for this little tip, you don't really need to do this tip, but I added it just for a little detail. The color I used was 666666. Gives it this nice gray color. And you have the option to turn these off and toggle them. Next, you're going to want to get. Let me see. So, what you're going to want to do is go to Wedge 2 and get the triangle wedge block. This will be forming this corner right here. What turns into the block. Make it like that for the wedge. Hope y'all are enjoying the tutorial so far. I might make more of these. Next, you're going to want to put a block. And another block. Now, what you're going to want to do is stretch from there all the way to about... Right one block 
from this. You're just going to stretch all of this. Whoop. Then right there. Do it on the other side as well. Whoop. Oh, I misplaced a block. Good thing is about this plane is it's almost balanced. So that is good. Now, for the top, you're going to want to, right here, you're going to want to go, want to place a block going across, right here. And then you're going to want to place half wedges. This is going to form the cockpit window. They're just going to go across. Make so it's about from here one two from this part of the window it's one two three four so it's four blocks so you're gonna want to add four blocks like that well, actually like this now you know, you have your marker. Now next, you're gonna want to use, gonna want to use half blocks. Well, actually, forgot for here. For the cockpit, it's actually not. It's actually half blocks. My bad. So you're just gonna make it this. This will add area to the cockpit uh, it's not like you're gonna be walking around it's a very small space you are free to add whatever you want in here and then it's just gonna go back to blocks well, let me see yeah. so yeah want to do that and then on the back you're going to do the same as the front and that window now we'll be doing the cockpit later so I'm going to want to do well actually these are going to be turned into blocks this will be the cockpit window Then you're going to make it glass. Let me make sure this is correct. Oop, made another mistake. Jeez, so many mistakes. Well, sorry about that. This is my first time doing this, so I'm not the best. So, lame's on me. Sorry. Well, now you're going to want to make them this color. This nice glass. Now for the color, I believe. So, the color is... The color is the same as the tip. 666666. Put that down. Now it gives it a nice dark tint. Now, on the back, you're going to want to do is put more half wedges. These are going to go all the way until this block. Okay. These will act as like a curve. So it's coming along pretty good so far. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos. Okay. Next, we're going to be working a little bit more on the tail. So, you're going to, so right behind, like, this block will be, under this block, you're going to get a 
believe it is another it's a triangle wedge yes it is a triangle wedge one by three you're gonna want to place it right there and on top of these two you're gonna want to get half blocks half wedges from the half block section so make it like that. Okay, good. You're also gonna want to fill in the tail. And there goes one of my friends just zipped by. <laughs> Jesus, don't ask what I accidentally. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so right, right above this one, you're going to want to get a motor. Two, motor two. I'm going to place them like that. Okay, good. Now you're going to get, now you can use wing panel one by ones, one by twos or one by threes for this it's free choice but for the sake of the video I'm gonna sake of video I'm using oh my god he needs to, he's joking but for the sake of the video I'm gonna use one by twos so what you're gonna want to do is one two three I'm gonna get one panel one by ones one two three so it forms like this flap these are shall be the up and downs these will help these sorry all those control panel lovers out there this is a motor now you're gonna want to extend you're gonna want to put a delta delta one by one this is gonna right there okay once you put the Delta you're gonna want to go wing panel right behind it then you're gonna put another Delta one by one and then finally you're gonna put a Delta one by three Okay, I am still recording. That is still good. Okay, now the controls, you can adjust the controls however you want. These are just my controls. So for this sign, W is forward, S is backwards. All of these are normal. You can change this for faster or slower and make sure servos on. Now for this side, just the controls are reversed. Let's copy that. Put that there. Now let's make, oops, wrong. Now let's make sure it works. Okay, good. The flaps are working. Good job. Okay, next. We are going to add this, the giant fin. I'd like to shout out my friend Tap for giving me colors to use. So right here at the motor, right on this block, you're gonna put a delta one by three. Now this is a little tricky, but you're gonna wanna put a delta one by one right here. There I wanna go two out. Then you're gonna wanna add a delta one by four. Okay, good. Now, this is not for steering. This is only for decorational design. 
So what you're going to want to do is place a control panel right here. And then you're going to want to put a wing panel one by one here. Now, I'll give you the colors. Colors are red is only this, one, five, five. Write that down. Put it on there. White is just white. And the blue is that one, two, seven at the end. Copy that down. Remember, you are free, free to pause the video. And set controls off. Now you're just going to fill the area in with wing panels. There you go. Now that is the tail. Next, we are going to be working on the speed. Or what's inside the rocket. Or what's just inside it. So, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on. So, first of all, we are going to be adding rockets. These are necessary for it. So, I recommend using super rockets for the most amount of speed. I personally use shift and control. Now, you're going to want to put it like this. You're going to want one, two, and three. Three outwards. And then one on top, one on top, one on top. Next, you're going to put blocks right there. This is where the bomb bay door, or where the bombs are going to be located. So you're going to want to pretend these are blocks. So one, two, three, four. Four. So this, em this is empty. And then right behind that, you're going to place another block. So one, two, three, four. And then you're going to place it there. Now in the, f in the leftover space, you're going to put the remainder of rockets. Okay, so that's good. Now what you're going to want to do is put disconnectors just all on top of this. Except for the bomb bay for now. Make sure to test. Always test your builds to make sure they work. So. So yeah. So it works. Now, personally, I'm setting the controls to Z. Because that way it doesn't get in my way. So this is just going to be a boring part. You can set it to your preference. It's just because the landing gears use G. But you can always change it. This is free to change. Do whatever you want. Because uh, who am I to judge? So... We're almost done. Oop. Huh. Yeah. Copy. Paste. And done. Okay. Now, we're going to want to raise the build just a little bit. And you're going to want to put... So, right in the empty space, delete all of it. Now, right at the end, you're going to want to get a motor one, just the original motor. Make sure it's facing this way. Okay, got that down. Now, I use E and Q just because it's easy for bomb dropping. Set it to however you want. Just the standard controls, no changing. Now, you're going to want to get half wedged down and face it this way. Okay? Now get two half blocks, make it that. And then at the end, 
add another half wedge down. Okay, that will be the bomb day door. You can, oops, wrong one. Okay, next, you're gonna wanna get, you're gonna go to PVP weapons and get the explosive ball. You can set it to whatever, but make sure it's on impact. But you can put it however you want, whatever controls. Now fill it up only here. Do not put it on there. Because then you have to shake it out to get it in. Okay. Now test, test. Now watch the bomb bay. Opens. So that's where the bombs drop. That's how they work. Okay, now finally we are going to put disconnectors on it. Okay, now this is part one, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Another video is about to be released on part two, so be looking out for that. Hope you guys enjoyed and have a nice day. Bye.